Dear student, in this video, I am going to share with you stereochemistry of perhydropenan 3. In previous video, I already explained to you how many stereoisomers are there and with respect to that number of asymmetric centers, expected stereoisomers, what is cisfusion, what is transfusion, as well as what is the syn relation and anti-relation, what, what type of things that we had to use for the denotion of alpha hydrogen and beta hydrogen. These things we already discussed in previous video. Now naming of the system that also we already discussed. So these are the different molecules that is the stereoisomers are possible for the per hydrophenanthrene structure. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the stereoisomer that is syn cis cis stereoisomer. So this compound we are going to discuss in this video. In previous video, I already mentioned this one is a meso, but actually the meso term we generally use for those compound having symmetry. But this compound, instead of having the symmetry in planar structure, you can see the symmetry, but actually this is not a planar. If we draw a chair conformer. So in this, the way we discuss in cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane, that cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane having a unresolvable DL pair, that's why it is a optically inactive. That optical inactivity because of the presence of a racemic mixture. So this compound is racemic. So in this video, I'm going to share with the how to draw the cis syn cis isomer, the energy calculation and the optical activity that is mirror image of this. So let us start with cis syn cis compound. Now that we already discussed how many stereoisomers are there and for that, what are the different strategies we have to follow in the previous case, we already discussed, this is an example of a 666 fusion so what, what are the different interactions that we had to find out? So in previous video, I mentioned here one free AA interaction, it is 1.8 kilocalorie per mole, but there is a little bit contradiction with this. Some that is uh, some scientists implement 3.6 kilocalorie per mole and some used 1.8 kilocalorie per mole. Accordingly, there is a changes in the energy calculation, but 1,3 diaxial, syn diaxial interaction, if we consider 3.6 kilocalorie per mole, then we can go the much more closer value with respect to the well-known scientist. So this points, what are the types of fusions in this? AB fusion, cis 1,2 fusion, BC fusion is again 1,2 fusion, AC relation is one to relation. If the relation is cis, you change the label. If it is trans, you don't change the label. So let us start with the how to draw the uh, how to draw the stereo structure. So this is sin cis cis per hydrophenanthine. So cis the stereochemistry at this fusion point is same. That is the both the hydrogens at this is facing in the same direction. The relation with the terminal ring it is again both the hydrogen facing in the same direction, therefore the relation is seen. And this is again the both the hydrogen stereochemistry is same, so again it is a cis. So seen cis cis per hydrophenanthrene, that is the fifth molecule. Now this the another possibility of leveling. So in this case, you can see. If I start labeling from A, if I start labeling from A as it is a cis, so A change to E. Again, it is a scene, so change the label E to A. Again, it is a cis, you change the label from A to E. So mm -hmm. instead of starting with A, I can also start with E. So if I start with A, E, as it is a cis relation, so change the label, so it changes to A. Again, change the label, it changes to E. Again, you change the label, it changes to A. For cis and syn relation, we have to always change the label. 
Now this both way of labeling is correct. And this is nothing but the flip structures of each other. So A changes to E, E changes to A. So these are the flip structures of each other. Now, this is the structure for this compound. So this is the stereo structure, the central ring B. All the hydrogens, you can see all the hydrogens are facing in the top direction. All these hydrogens are beta. So beta hydrogens, all these. The next thing is what? All the bonds, that there are two axial bonds and two equatorial bonds are there. So these are the two axial bonds and these two are the equatorial bond. So here you can see the diaxial interaction is there, that is sin 1, 3 diaxial interaction, this axial bond and this axial bond, the relation between these is 1, 3 relation, that is 14 and 12, the relation between them is a diaxial interaction, that is 1, 3 sin 1, 3 diaxial interaction. So this is the stereostructure for this label. So the how to show the flip structure now. Now after flipping, you can see here that if I flip the central ring B, that is 11 number carbon going in the downward direction. So this number going in the downward direction, automatically 10 changes to next part. So this one is 10 number. Now this is 9, 14. So what you have to do, you flip the central ring B. After flipping the central ring B, automatically the number are changing. That is now this lower number is 11 carbon now and so on. After that, due to flipping the hydrogen, which are facing in the top direction, they remains in the top direction, but only the axial changes to equatorial and equatorial changes to axial. So look at the num hydrogen, which is axial. So that axial hydrogen changes to equatorial. In 12, the hydrogen is equatorial that changes to axial. Same thing at number 13 and number 14. 13 axial changes to equatorial and 14 equatorial changes to axial hydrogen. So ring bond automatically again it changes. C11 ring bond is equatorial. Now C11 ring bond is axial. C12 bond initially it is axial. Now C12 bond is equatorial and you complete the ring. So these are the flip structures of each other. And this arrow indicate they are having the same energy and how they have the same energy that we will discuss in next slide. Now, how to draw the structure. So first that we already Consider in previous video also, first what we have to draw, we have to draw the central ring B in the chair conformer. So draw the central ring B in the chair conformer. After that, the hydrogens in the A ring, they both are facing in top direction. So just you first of all mention the hydrogens which have to, which I have, we have to face in the top direction. So you select the hydrogens which are going in the top direction, that hydrogen we have to write first of all. Automatically, the bond which are remained that are used for the ring formation, that equatorial bond is remained at this position and the axial bond is remained at this position. Now our next duty is to see for which carbon number, look at the number 13 carbon, we want equatorial bond and a beta proton. So number 13 must be this carbon, the bond is equatorial and the hydrogen is beta. Look at number 14, the bond has to be axial and, re, uh, and, and the hydrogen is beta, that is facing in the top direction. So bond axial. So you have a two, uh, uh, one equatorial bond and one axial bond here. So with respect to that, we confirm the number 13 is the upper carbon. So this number is 30, automatically this number is 14. So this number is 14. So after getting the one number, then your duty is to complete the ring that is ring A. And then complete the remaining numbering. 
So 14 is attached to 9, 9 attached to 10, and you complete the remaining numbering. The next your duty is to draw the uh, focus on the ring C. The ring C start from 12 and 11, and at both the position, the hydrogens are facing in the top direction. So this is the next duty that number 11, you have to select the number 11 carbon and number 12 carbon and put the hydrogens facing in the top direction. So number 12, the hydrogen is equatorial, number 11, hydrogen is axial. And the remaining bonds, which are used for the ring formation C, they are the, at 11, the bond which we require is equatorial for ring formation, and at 12, we require actual bond for the ring formation. So that bond C had to show here, and next, the simple duty is to complete the ring. So that is the ring C. So in this way, we had to draw the stereo structure of cis sin cis per hydrophenanthry. Now the energy calculation. So for this, first of all, see that these two conformers are the flip structures of each other. And in both the flip structure, there are two axial bonds and two equatorial bonds. So let us first of all, find out the energy calculation for this structure. The central ring B, in central ring B, that B fused with A, it is a cis fusion. So AB one to cis fusion, that energy is 2.4 kilocalorie per mole. The BC fusion, it is again one to cis fusion, the energy is 2.4 kilocalorie per mole. Now we had to see the relation between A and C, that is the terminal ring. And you can see here that there is a one to relation, one to relation at C13 and C12. The, there is a one to relation and C12 is actual bond. C13 is equatorial bond. So that actual equatorial interaction is 0.9 kilocalorie per mole. So AC relation, we have a 13 equatorial bond and 12 axial bond they interact with each other with one butane gauge interaction, so 0.9 kilocalorie per mole. Now, 1 3 relation. So, 1 3 relation, we observed here that number 13, number 12, number 11. So, C13 and C11, there is a 1 3 relation. But in 1 3 relation, both the bonds are equatorial. So, this bond is equatorial as well as this bond is equatorial. So, for 1 3 EE, the energy is zero. 1, 3 E, E interaction energy is zero. But this 1, 3, look at number 14, number 12. This is a 1, 3 relation. So this 1, 3 relation, you can see this axial bond and this axial bond, we call this interaction as sin 1, 3 diaxial interaction. And that energy is 3.6 kilocalorie per mole. So total energy of this molecule is 9.3 kilocalorie per mole. Now let us find out this energy for the next flip structure. So this structure have the same type of interaction. AB fusion is cis. AB fusion is cis. Why it is cis? Because the stereochemistry of the fused carbon is same, the hydrogens are facing in the same direction, therefore it is a fused uh, uh, system. So AB fusion is cis, 2.4. Again, BC fusion is cis, why it is cis? Because again, the both hydrogens are facing in the same direction. So BC, 2.4. Now AC, with respect to the terminal rings, look at the terminal ring, that first of all, you find out where is the one to relation with respect to the terminal ring. So 1, 2 relation is 12, 13. So focus on 12, 13, 12 equatorial bond, 13 axial bond. So 1, 2 AE interaction is there and that is 0.9. That means one between watch interaction is there. Now next 1, 3 relation with respect to the terminal ring. So here this is 1 and 2, 3. So you can see here. There is again a sin 1, 3 diaxial interaction and that energy we have to add 3.6 kilocalorie per mole. Again, one more interaction, uh, one more relation that is 1, 3 relation that is C14 and C12. These both the bonds are equatorial, equatorial and 1, 3 EE interaction is always a zero. 
So the total energy of this molecule is again a three nine point three kilocalorie per mole, indicating both are equally populated, both are having same energy. Therefore, they continuously undergo clipping. So look at here these figures which are given by Johnson. By Johnson, the figure uh, that uh, the energy in terms of kilojoule per mole it is mentioned. 30.1 kilojoule per mole and by the Allinger it is mentioned at 37.7 kilojoule per mole and what is the relation between the kilocalorie per mole one kilocalorie per mole is equal to 3.35 kilojoule per mole and whatever the value whatever the energy we are getting here which is mostly close to this Allinger that 37.7 kilojoule per mole so like that we had to calculate the energy of this molecule and these are the flip structures as well as the they are the mirror images of other, each other so the way we discuss in the case of a cis 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane the same strategy we have to apply over here they are the flip isomer as well as mirror images of each other and because of that it is very difficult to resolve the mirror images from each other. So we call these compounds are optically inactive. So let that we discuss in this slide. So optical activity of cis sin cis per hydrophenanthine. So this is the stereostructure of cis sin cis per hydrophenanthine and uh, mirror image of this compound is this. So you can see this mirror image is similar with the flip structure of the same this compound so the flip structure of this compound is identical with this with respect to the number and uh, irrespective with the number and the ring name so because of this these compounds are flip structures as well as they are mirror images of each other therefore this compound is racemic that is unresolvable DL pair therefore compound is optically inactive so for that you refer these books thank you